I briefly want to discuss with us uh, on a book that is written by Pastor Porika, Jesus' Revelation on Top Church Founders of Our Time. It is said that this was a revelation shown to his wife by Jesus about the founder of the churches, father of faith in this generation. I just make some little jot out of the, the main book and I want us to briefly go through it. One of the people he mentioned, the first person was uh, Pastor E.A. Adeboye of Redeemed Christian Church of God. What he said about him that he has joined the world leader to be a peacemaker. So Jesus has rejected him that the redeemed members that still follow and believe in him will not make heaven. He further explained that Daddy Adeboye belongs to a brotherhood and as Cage has been caged by satanic regulation and is now in pain, frustration, and confusion. He left the law since 1990. But uh, I think that the Adeboye come into the political, uh, was known in the political era by when Obasanjo came into power in 1999. You can see this misleading when you say since 1990 he has left. And also, I just want to believe maybe Pastor Porika or the wife did not notice in the Bible in Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, where the Bible, the Jesus himself said, Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. The second one on his list is Bishop David Oyedeko of the Living Faith Church. That he has left the Lord for a long time and has gone into covenant with Satan for worldly riches, honor, and fame. Living Faith Church is not a church of Christ and I've advised people to leave. Of course, you see, this is not true. Another man he mentioned was Pastor Chris Oyakilome of Christ Embassy that they are men pleaser, not God pleaser. They are deceiver and minister of Satan and are not recognized by Jesus because their preaching is based on grace. He went further to talk about Pastor Lukoya of Mountain of Fire Ministry that is not recognized by Jesus because he is also a man pleaser, not God. You go ahead again and talk about Pastor Paul, a nature of Dunamis International, that he is a deceiver and belongs to a brotherhood. If he belongs to this kind of church, according to him, or the revelation that was claimed to be revealed by Jesus to the wife, that you should run for your soul. I thought this people he mentioned was because they are not people who preach righteousness on daily basis. But I was shocked when he started mentioning some people. I never, I, I, I did feel they should not be included since he's talking about righteousness. Number one was Pastor Lazarus Mauka of the Lord Chosen. He said, though he know about the holiness, let me read, though he know holiness and preach it, but he is not a holy man, that he has gone to receive power from Satan because of money, revenge, fame, and popularity, that he belongs to the same court with T.B. Joshua, that he should publicly make a, con a public confession. Uh, con confession. He go again, Pastor Billy Akani of Peace House doesn't preach full message of holiness and harden his heart towards reproof and correction and do not include clothes and adoration of the body as their followers still in bondage of jewelry ungodly ungodly ado and evil attires we go again further to pastor Alexis 
Aloysius of Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Ministry that he has been removed from being an holiness preacher that a doctrine error in his ministry, which means there are doctrine error in his ministry. And finally, he end up with Pastor Kumuyu of the Deeper Life. That number one, he mentioned some six things, some six points I brought out from the book. Number one, that Kumuyi was surprised to see him among those Jesus invited. Two, he is quick to detect evil. Three, he teach holiness but fail to make his people practice it, but rather put his fear in them. For he hardens his heart towards pity and doesn't have human feeling. Five, subjecting Pastor Paulica under discipline for disobeying him, the Lord is not happy with him. Sees that he has missed it since 1970 and has left the message of salvation, but now honoring invitation from other churches. Just to mention a few, these are what he wrote about the fathers in faith. And I learned from my from my research so, so far that he was subjected under discipline in Deeper Life Church. And before you know it, he left the church to form his own. And uh, let's just look at the analysis. I make some little analysis about what he has said so far. Number one, Pastor Porica and Linda Rica could not differentiate between the church doctrine, Bible doctrine, and Jewish culture and most of their of their bible quotation are out of context the bible quotation they use in this book mostly they are out of context also i just want us to know in this book of jesus revelation they fail to recognize the message of love according to matthew chapter 22 from 35 to 40 when 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 a lawyer was asking jesus about about the law he said there is only two law that the first one thou shalt love the lord your god with your heart with your mind with your soul and the other one you will love your neighbor as yourself now he failed to recognize this this message this doctrine this teaching and speak against those that preach love secondly now, in the issue of love, Jesus was cited sitting with a sinner, eating with them. Do we say Jesus have seen? God forbid. That implies that if people like this pastor, Porica, were alive then, they could have accused Jesus that he's no longer the son of God, or Jesus has, has left the way. He also, also, they failed to recognize the place of grace. And the Ephesians, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 4 to 7, it makes us to understand that we are saved by grace. And this man failed to recognize the place of grace. All through the chapter 8 of this is book, he was busy advertising his ministry, making people to understand that is the real ministry and the acceptable ministry. Also in chapter 9 of the same book, he also he, he, he make himself superior to every other minister, making them believe is the is the elected. He even call himself the savior of this generation. That God has elected him to be the savior through the word of God. This is misleading. This is barbaric. This is demonic, and is unaccepted. This is nothing but character assassination of fathers in faith this is an act of pride for somebody to say is the one that god has placed now all over the world to be the savior which means he has ascribed to himself the 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 the, 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 the responsibility of jesus christ is not the way not jesus any longer if you call yourself the savior in this generation which means you are the way this book is just aimed at bringing believers down, bringing the, the ministers of God down. And I just want him to understand that uh, 
he needs to apologize because he's getting it wrong. Anyway, revelation is in two ways. It can be either from God or from Satan or even from your thoughts. What you think from emotion, depression can just form into, 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 into a revelation. So I think this is not an exemption. This very book is not an exemption. Lastly, I would like to tell us any house built on a faulty foundation will not stand.